You know what I mean? Your grandma don't even know what the book of Obadiah is. Like, Obadiah, what's that? What's that? Grandma's deep face is at the club, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, grandma's Grandma at the club on the bar. Well, yeah, these grandmas, you're right, because grandmas now is only like 25 years old. Yeah, they're young <laughs> bitches. They're young bitches now. You know? So y'all read the scriptures? Yeah. Hell. Curses on them too. Eric, some Eric. What the? Curses on them too. They really curse. You see how they get their asses whooped in the right Most high stirring them up though. Bringing that wild man spirit up out of them. Oh, like you said, uh, oh yeah, Turkey just attacked Syria. Yeah. So, so they're trying to calm that down over there, but I don't think they're going to be able to. I don't think they're going to be able to. Yeah, because Turkey is part of NATO. And, uh, so if anyone attacks Turkey, that means they attack NATO. NATO came out and said that too. So that means if you attack NATO, what does that mean? That means you attack the United States. What happens if you, people attack the United States? They get fucked up. That's the beast. Yep. Look at your boy here coming, comes back, coming back. I knew he would. Oh man, he looked like he about to start tap dancing or something. He wants something. He's out of his mind. What's up, y'all read the Bible? Y'all know any scriptures? Okay, we all got some Confucius. Confucius. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you just study, go home, study, they Confucius. Buddha. Oh, so yeah, it's Buddha. Confucius was probably an Israelite anyway. They said he was like seven feet tall. I ain't never seen no seven foot tall China man. Who's like they out there, girl? Well, I was like, you ever seen a seven foot tall? Well, Yao Ming, Yao Ming might be an Israelite. Yeah, Dean of Vito NBA. Seven feet. That's, they having problems with coordination when there's at five five. Shit. There's a lot of Israelites scattered over there in China, man. Yeah, that's, that's, a, he's an Israelite. That, that's, that's a that's a that's a lot of fucking people over there. Period. Yeah, I saw his post. He got. I saw. He got a nice job. He's kind of decent, so they ain't no goddamn boat like. Nobody's don't have coordination. It looks like he just had problems with his body. Right, heathens don't have coordination. They don't have coordination. Yeah, because at first I even tried to say the Kimbe Matumbo was a hand light, but when you really examine him, he really, he a Jake. You know how you trip and fall on something, right? While you're walking, John McCain was trying to sing this one old school song, and after like three words, he stumbled, like he tripped, yep. you know? He's, a, he's an Edomite and he couldn't come out. Obama was doing that too, messing with him. They stumbled, they stumbled. Obama ain't got no rhythm. No rhythm at all. That's why y'all, like we said, we saw that, that one video where Hillary Clinton was dancing with that black, that oh big, old, big old fat black lady was bopping her ass, dancing up against Hillary Clinton. You see that shit? And they call Hillary Clinton Kill Dog. Uh, what do you call her? Uh, well, what? Kill Dog. Well, black people love Hillary Clinton. Yeah, they think she's black. They think him ain't her. My you explain to me how they're black. <laughs> when Bill Clinton healed on, he went to college in Russia. You know, you know, any black people went to college in Russia? How the hell are they black? Traveling the world, they descend from royal families. They are goddamn Edomites. Yeah, they're fucking Edomites. They ain't black. Goddamn Edomites. Only thing black about Hillary Clinton is that bitch's drawers. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> right. In, in her heart. Her oh, mind yeah. Oh, yeah, her mind. Yeah, her soul. Yeah, she got a spirit. She got a, yeah, she has a spiritual deep abyss. That's the only thing that's black. That's right. Yep. That's right. Oh, wicked hoe. She's a witch, too. Big time witch. You can tell. Well, actually, it's a fact, bro. They said, I mean, they, they make jokes about it. They say that Hillary Clinton did, had a performed a seance at the White House, in the White House, and then she was trying to summon up the spirit. They actually, they said she did summon she up. Did, did. They said they summoned up the spirit of Eleanor Roosevelt. I mean, Obama was on TV joking about it. He said, "You remember when Hillary Clinton had a seance at the White House?" So it's a fact that Hillary Clinton is a devil worshiper. Goddamn witch. And I mean, that's that's nothing. All the politicians do that. You know, what I mean, they're all devil worshippers. I mean, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds far fetched. But when they on the news and now on TV saying, yeah, we had a seance at the White House. Do you know what a fucking seance is? I mean, I mean, what people, what don't they get about it? Two people that got fucking sense, they know they ain't no damn joke. Oh. They know it's real. They know it's real. Only a fool hear you say that. Look, uh, they making up shit oh. now. Oh, they, they just having a party being silly. 
What the fuck do you think the symbol of the star represents when one point is up? Witchcraft. You yeah. see stars everywhere. Everywhere. Look at your flag. Oh, yeah, the flag. That goes back to that. And just, right. Boy, hey, that's an obvious devil worshiping symbol. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that's right. When it's two up, that's devil. That's Satan. Yeah. One up is witchcraft. And they, they, there's a lot of variations on it, too. Yeah, that's right. But I'm not even going to talk about it because it's devil worship. That's right. Evilry. That's right. We don't, I don't really care about all that dumb symbol shit, man. You can take the symbols and shove them up your ass. That's what you need to go right here. This is Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not thou, therefore pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. <laughs> so the Lord's, well, hold on, people always come by. The people will come by, they'll say they disagree with us. And then they'll tell us that they're going to pray for us. That's right. The Bible says if you're not teaching the truth, that we're not supposed to pray for you. That's right. Well, read that, man. That's clear as day. Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. Now, now, see, this is talking about the super duper wicked ass Israelite. Because we do pray, we do pray for Israel. So don't get it twisted, people. Because we're supposed to pray for the elect. You know, we're supposed to pray to everybody to get, but guess what? They're not. So after they reject the truth, you don't pray for them no more. That's right, because you scripture is fully two thirds. Yeah, because first you try to help them. It's just like it's right before you read that, he, before uh, before he said don't pray for them, he was trying to teach them, saying, uh, turn. I'll go, back to the I'll go ahead. Jeremiah 11 and 13. For according to the number of thy cities were the gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. See? I would not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Fuck off, bitch. Hey, yeah, I mean, I mean it's a, look how fat she was, I mean. Fuck, I would hate to be a fat bitch. It's gotta be tortured. Pre you know they preach. Yeah. Pretty like a fucking pig. Probably can't even wipe her own ass, it's so big. Right, don't Or clean it, clean it. You gotta have, yeah, it gotta be hosed down. They go through the front <laughs> and wipe over the pussy, you know what I mean? Right, the, that's probably why the pussy smell like shit sometimes. <laughs> Cause they're not, they can't reach around, so they go to the front and wipe the Hey, we're in a book, you ever seen Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Yeah. Hey, we went to Francis's house. He, he was knocking on the door. He's like, where's Francis? He's like, he's taking a bath. He's like, oh, where are they hosing him down at? <laughs> That's just funny, man. Right. Damn. But yeah, you got these bitches so fat, you got to hope, you got to, only way to clean, you got to clean them with a hose. Yeah. The only way you can get all them cracks and crevices, the fat be folding. You know, fit. You got, you got, you got fat rolls, overlapping fat rolls. Oh, we got to get back on point. I mean, I worked in a, uh, in a, uh, uh, you know, do these uh, healthcare businesses and shit. And sometimes, every time we had to go to these houses and, and wash these fat motherfuckers because they can't wash themselves. That's nasty. You know, yeah, it was a job, bro. Well, I, I knew fat kids, uh, I knew these two fat kids growing up. We called them the fat sisters. But they used to sit on a couch and, uh, with a jar of mayonnaise, <laughs> eating it with a spoon while they was watching TV. Oh, Man, they were so fat. When they get to the bottom of the, uh, the jar, can't get it with a spoon, they'd stick their hand in, the little fat little hand in there, twirling a little mayonnaise. They, mayonnaise. they eat a whole jar of mayonnaise watching TV. Damn. But, it, but we used to fuck with them because they was real fat. We used to joke with them, right? Like, how do you wipe your ass, man? They'd be like, we don't. Yeah, they actually said they don't wipe their ass. And a lot of these bitches don't be too fat, man, but you're going to wash them, man, suck that motherfucking rag up, and you wipe that ass, and all kind of shit come out. Ugh. You know? Ah. And ain't no shame in that game, because after you clean them, they like, hey, that's the thing I ever did. Ah. I couldn't do that shit anymore. I had to get out that business. Ah. I had to get out. Literally, man, you wash your wipe in there, man, and the shit comes out. Nothing but shit. Like it was fresh shit. That's nasty, man. Motherfucker came and washed their ass, probably. That's the motherfuckers. That's what the Lord said. Don't do <laughs> these unclean things. And everybody got diabetes. All these people fat as hell got diabetes. Why, man, why come everybody got diabetes, man? Because they like eating all kind of unclean shit. Yeah, not only you, yeah, plus, you, all the all this shit that's supposed to be clean is all fucked up. Everything's okay. genetically modified. Yep. You gotta pray on them, you gotta pray to the Lord, man, when you eat. Yep. Got radiation in our Every food. <laughs> no corn is safe. 
legit. That's crazy. But they know everybody. The corn is one of the main things that people eat too. That's one of the most popular foods to eat is corn. Corn's you know? in everything. High fructose corn oh, syrup's yeah. in everything. Fucking corn is in ketchup. Corn is in crackers. Now, now, now you want to tell me this ain't Satan's kingdom? Like, I go to the store and buy ketchup. They got pictures of fucking tomatoes on it, son. You buy ketchup, it got pictures of tomato on it. But how come the label says it got corn in it? <laughs> yeah, a loaf of bread has corn in it. Some be called some corn up, not ketchup. I don't think there's any tomatoes up in it, is it? How do you get the word ketchup in the word? You can't call it corn up. Everything's got corn in it. Well, genetically modified corn, not any corn. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, and it's been proven that genetically modified corn or anything, a lot of that stuff causes cancer. Causes tumors. Causes tumors. The Russian, Russia just banned all genetically modified corn from being shipped to Russia. Sure did. Sure did. Y'all know that? It came out with it too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys. Did y'all know that Russia just banned the sale of genetically modified corn in Russia? Do you know, do you know that genetically modified corn causes cancer, and tumors, causes death? I got a scripture to back you up. What's that one? That shit they don't care. Let's get back on. Weeds on that one topic. You were saying, uh, but he was reading that scripture in Jeremiah, though. It said, don't lift up a cry or a prayer for these people. You know what I'm saying? So really, you're supposed to praise the Lord that there is all kind of genetically modified food and people getting cancer, getting tumors. Hey, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? People dropping dead at the age of 40. That's a good thing. People dropping dead because they sniffing too many Oxycontins. That's a good thing. We praise the Lord for it. Because it's all his work. Check this out. Well, I, I, we're going to obviously speak out against it, though. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Because you ain't supposed to be doing wicked shit. Like, there's laws in the Bible that say you're not allowed to splice seeds. You're not allowed to uh, manipulate motherfucking genetics and shit. Yep, and they went to the cellular level to manipulate that shit, too. Yeah, you're not, you're not supposed to do that. The cellular level. That's some demonic shit. I mean, the, the food was already fine the way it was, That's man. Right. You need to do it. You know, altercations to it. Like you taking a pair of pans to get ordered and shit. Food ain't eat that shit, though. Shit will taste it delicious the way it was. That's right. Well, I, don't, I don't remember tasting the delicious oh, well. food since the late 70s or early 80s. Man. Well, that's because that's when it, before there was genetically modified food. Yeah, yeah. We grew up with all, I, all through that. Uh, well, yeah, I did. You're a little bit older than me. I remember, na you know, I remember natural foods, man. Now everything, ever since I was a kid, everything's been processed. Mm -hmm. Go to the store, everything's processed, microwave. Preservatives added to them. Preservatives. Everything used to be in glass bottles. Yep, 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 yep. But that shit's gotten too expensive now, so they put the shit in cans. Oh, no, yeah. they put it in plastic so it eats the plastic and goes yeah, through yeah, your body. Bad yeah, because the milkman used to drop milk off of the house in glass bottles. Even Coca-Cola used to be in glass bottles. But now they put Coca-Cola in plastic and all that acid, or they put it in plastic or a can. So when you drink Coca-Cola, if you drink pop out of an aluminum can, that acid and that pop, it melts away that aluminum because aluminum is a real soft metal. And then when you drink it, it poisons your brain and gives you brain damage. That's something I had to learn. Do anyone care? No, nobody cares about that. They used that. to put real sugar in pop I mean, too. just keep drinking the fluoride water and you'll be good. Drink, drink the fluoridated water, vote for Obama, and you'll be good. Go go get some vaccinations, too. Make sure you get your flu shots. Take your kids with you. Take your kids with you. Make sure they get all that mercury pumped in their brain. And then that's the best thing most of y'all can do. <laughs> Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Oh, yeah. So we ain't gonna pray for... After we give someone the truth like Jeremiah did, and they reject it, hey, we ain't gonna pray for you, man. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, so I would not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. We ain't gonna hear that. I got a scripture to back that up real quick. I gotta find this other one too. Alright. Yeah, this is one for you think it's a joke, man. It's still a joke, man. It's a joke! I got one for you. It's a good one. First John. Uh, where am I at? Five? 1 John 5 and 16. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. Meaning you got 
yeah, pray for him, right? Mm -hmm. Cause this is, like I said, you do pray for some people, right? But check this out. There, however, there is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. So these people are sinning sins unto death. You're not supposed to pray for them. So if people out here, they're saying, I'm an agnostic, the Bible don't exist. Even after they talk to us, they saying God don't exist. That's a sin unto death, man. Okay, that's a sin unto death. When you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, that's a sin unto death, and we're not gonna pray for you. We'll pray for your destruction. <laughs> we'll, we'll pray that you'll be accursed and damned. Yep. Yep. And get destroyed. So I mean, so people try to say we're wicked and evil all the time because we say people are going to get destroyed. Man, that's what the Bible says. In your head? It's like a, yeah, right. Yeah. That's something I would do. That's the way. Yeah, we gotta take a pitch. Uh, Here, go ahead, bro. I'll hold that. We're gonna go. I'll be the director. How much? How much time we got on here? The time's not even on there. Here you go. This is about these fools that's rejected the Lord, man. Uh, Ecclesiastes 21 and 12. He that is not wise will not be taught. Oh, we that one again. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 21 and 12. <laughs> he that is not wise will not be taught. Oh yeah, because the truth is only for a wise man. Okay, you, you're either born, check this out. You're either born wise or you're born stupid. <laughs> okay, if you was wise, you was wise from your birth. Like the scripture said, we was chosen, like the elect. What's that, Ephesians? It said we was chosen before the earth was even formed. That's right. Like uh, the book of Jeremiah. It said uh, Jeremiah was uh, had the spirit on him from his mother's womb. Mm. But there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. Because remember that word education means to draw out. You're, That's right. You know? So to to educate, to be educated, only certain people can be educated. Oh. That wisdom has to already be within you to, for it to be drawn out. That's right. The knowledge of a, of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel... <laughs> hey, that sounds like us. Yep. And his counsel <laughs> is like a pure fountain of life. I, I, get, I get on people's nerves because I be spouting off too many facts. You can't help but you, you know, do. People get mad at me all the time because I'm always... Every time someone says a word, I'll give them the etymology. They're like, shut right, up. Right. If a skillful man, oh, I'm sorry, and, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Because you know, people get mad at us when we be like, you be at your family's house and we be talking in a conversation. I'll be like, oh, that's just like this scripture and that scripture. Mm -hmm. When you start quoting scriptures in a conversation, people hate that, man. That's right. I'll go ahead. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will not hold knowledge as long as he liveth. <laughs> that's the, one of the best scriptures for fools in the Bible. Right. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of not understanding heareth it, it displeases him and he casts it behind his back. That's what it, most people do, because most people are fools though. I mean, we can get statistics on that too. That's right. Most people are fools. Hey, they actually say America's like one of the dumbest countries in the world. Everyone say that. Yep. That's a common, that's a common, that's a popular saying too. Yeah, people are real stupid. It's like the most backward, Degenerate society in the history of the face of the earth. And a bunch of dummies out here. The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way. Yeah, talking of a fool is a burden in the way, man. You, it's like, fuck, man. You see that? <laughs> like this mother, another one of these jokers. Fuck. <laughs> right. But grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. Thy inquire, they inquire at the mouth of the wise men in the congregation and they shall ponder in his words in their heart. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. <laughs> and the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. Talk without sense. <laughs> they talk a lot of nonsense. That's what it is. <laughs> right, right. They speak a lot of nonsense. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand. Good doctrine unto fools. And that word doctrine, I think it's a Greek word that means teaching. Mm. So that it's a, a, these people don't want to be taught, man. Right. They don't want to learn nothing. A fool lifted up his voice with laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Learning is unto a wise man as an ornament of gold and like a bracelet unto his right arm. A foolish man's foot is soon in his neighbor's house, but a man of experience is ashamed of him. Yeah, cause we ashamed of fools. We don't want. We, we, I, I, I don't want to be seen in public with a fool. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. 
Yeah, a fool's woman too. <laughs> oh, no. No. Jeremiah 11 and 15. What hath my beloved to do in my house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee? By lewdness with many, that's me. Our people, they'll follow any philosophy. They'll follow anything but the Bible, anything but this. They'll be a Muslim, they'll be a Buddha, they'll be a Democrat, a Republican, a Libertarian, you know what I mean? They'll be an info warrior. But they will not deal with this Bible. <laughs> they don't believe in the Anunnaki, uh, reptilians. <laughs> they don't believe in uh, what uh, the Christ consciousness. You know, they believe in all. Oh, they believe on what's the uh, the uh, the, the Plea They don't believe that the Pleiadians are, are going to soon induct us into the Galactic yeah. Federation. We got actually people out there teaching us that Earth's about to be a part of the Galactic Federation. That's the one. What's that uh, I don't even know. Uh, New Age? Tom Cruise and all the motherfuckers. Oh, the Scientology. Scientology. Oh, yeah, people of Scientology. Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of lunatics. They'll believe, people will believe anything but the Bible. How is that religion attracting all those stars, though? Man? They must have some good parties. That's all they have. They're probably good or some shit. Oh, they probably are. Oh, they demonic shit. Yeah, they probably do. And the parties. I'm sure there's parties. Look like Eddie Van Halen or something. Dude, stop. He's all messed. He can't drive it. I gotta read that script. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't even. I like blasting people when they're right in front of me to get the script. Right. Like See, she have brought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. Oh, yeah. People always rejoice when they do evil. Like earlier today, we seen a bunch of no gooders outside just having a good old time, just laughing, ha ha, just loud as hell. And people get so excited over bullshit. They be, look, man. I, the other night, I thought some people was getting killed behind my house. And they was fighting. They was like, no, motherfucker, motherfucker, I thought someone was about to die. I went outside to listen to what was going on. They was arguing about sports. They was talking about sports. Talking about Kobe was better than Jordan. Got some of that shit on camera, man. Why there's some ignorant shit, man. Got some of that shit on camera. And these people are so stupid they'll fight over football teams. Cause the people all they care about is football and dumb shit. Dumb shit. And these women, I don't even know what these women are into. They into football too, man. Whatever, whatever. Cause now you got the women. It's like they know stats too. Down with whatever. Yeah, they down with whatever. They just follow down with whatever. It's a shit set party. They gonna be out the line. Yeah, the women just they just follow who's, who's in charge. They just follow the leader. That's, that's what they're supposed to do though. Yep. Cause soon they're gonna be following us. The Lord calls thy name a green olive tree fair and a goodly fruit with the noise of a great tumult. He has kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. Yeah, so our, our, our people are like a tree that's been broken. You know what I mean? Like a beautiful tree that got broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke, provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. Nope. And the Lord... Oh, yeah, because remember the Lord even used that parable. He compared the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed. Because how that, that beautiful tree it grows so big. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A tree ain't going to grow if you don't have any nutrients, no vitamins. And surely a tree ain't going to grow if it's on fire. <laughs> now ain't nothing going to grow when it's on fire. So, y'all read the Bible? Look at this. Black Wicked, you're on home too. These people are amazing, man. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. 
destroy the tree with the fruit thereof and let us cut him off from the land of living land of the living that his name may be no more remembered that didn't work but O Lord of hosts that judges righteousness that tries the reins in the heart let me see thy vengeance on them oh so the Lord trying our reins he's talking to us right there he's talking to us alright he's trying how does he try us he tries us by showing us all this wickedness you know what I mean Forcing us to live in shit. So that, that way we're gonna know what true righteousness is all about when the Lord shows it to us. And I don't want you to know what wickedness is unless you got locked up in this system for nothing. The Lord gotta give you, you know, a taste of it. He, uh, he right. chastises. Them. That's right. The scriptures say if you uh if you wanna be the Lord's disciple, you gotta pick up your cross. That's right. He didn't say pick up uh pick up a PlayStation. Pick up a basketball. Pick up a basketball, yeah. <laughs> pick up a football. That's why that's why the best part about football is one of them tears they ACL or something. They get hurt, yeah. they get uh, hurt. Man, I just I just like the, they right. crying like little bitches. I'm like you dumbass, what do you think's gonna happen when you're playing football? Right. Running at top speed, trying to spear my Doing it every week. What you think was gonna happen? <laughs> every week. And, every week. <laughs> And then a white man's just using your dumb ass so he can get rich off of you. Right. It's just like the Roman uh, gladiators. The Romans didn't care about the gladiators. They just meat to them, you know? So, so really, I seen this one dude. I didn't understand it when I seen it, but I understand it. I forget his name. They, this this one dude had a chance to go to the NFL, but he refused because he said once he went to the training camps and everything, uh, to the tryouts, he said he felt like a, a slave on a slave market. He's like, I was sitting there on the scales, they was weighing me, and writing down my stats and statistics. He's like, I felt like a slave uh, being sold into auction. Yeah, that's and that's what it is, though. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if you make millions of dollars. You're, they, they're using you. You're being used. You know, millions of dollars ain't real millions of dollars anymore. Yeah, it's just fact. And you're fucking your body up. Ain't no real riches. Oh, they, yeah, they say your boy John Elway can't walk up and down the damn steps. Or if this ain't no real purpose, it ain't no real money. So all the football players is all messed up. After a, a running back can only play like five years, but the average is that. Yeah, motherfuckers kill you over the FRA. Oh, yeah. They kill you over one FRA with one. The one. That's because it's a talisman. It's got magical powers. It's got, it's got demonic spirits on it. Hey, that dollar bill and all your money got little satanic symbols on it. It's a little portals and gateways for demons to come out. That's right. It ain't got no power over us though, but it's got power over these uh, these lost souls out here. They're all possessed by demons. They're all a bunch of goons and goblins. Yeah, because if you ain't got this truth, man, you got demons on you. You got actual, if you don't have the truth, you got actual spiritual entities on you. You got demons on you. Controlling you. And you're just the host for them demons. Like that Denzel movie. When a demon named Hazel is Hazel, jumping from person to person. Yep. It's a badass movie. But John, uh, dude that played in Roseanne, her husband. Uh, you ever seen that John movie? John Goodman? Yeah. Yeah, it's that's a, a badass movie. Good movie. That's a badass movie. Yeah, it, John Goodman's a hell of an actor, too. He's a fat, pork eating bastard. He can act. He's a hell of an actor, though. The guy is so fucking fat. Did he die yet? Yeah, he's been dead. Oh, did he die? John Goodman? John Goodman dead. Are you still alive? You sure? I thought he died, or that's John Candy that died. Oh, John Candy was gone a long time ago. Yeah, that motherfucker's still making movies, man. Yeah, he gonna He's go in a lot of shit. He's still being in a lot of shit, man. That ain't the poor child. So, where your scriptures at? Where your scriptures at? Where your scriptures? He looks like a preacher. I think he's a preacher. I think he was, too. That's why I asked him where his scriptures at. He's like, oh, I gotta get out of here. The holy men of the Lord don't even carry their, their sword around. He's like, I ain't got no scriptures. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got none, son. The Lord called thy name. Oh, it's fine. We got enough scriptures to go around for everybody. I 
Pesach got one of those. It's all good. You free wherever. The Lord called our name at Green Island Tree Fair. I'm fucking the book. Of, the book of Jeremiah is so amazing. You can read anywhere in the book of Jeremiah. And they'll be cursing these wicked fools out, man. The whole book. That's all the book of Jeremiah. Oh, the whole book of Jeremiah is pretty much Jeremiah cursing out these wicked ass Israelites. That's why we in that spirit in the book of Jeremiah. But yep. O Lord of hosts that judges righteously, that trieth the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Oh, see, so so the, the Lord's gonna allow us to see all these all, all these demons get destroyed. All, the, all these two thirds, all two thirds of Israel, the Lord's gonna allow us to see them get destroyed. When Esau gets destroyed, the Lord's we're gonna get to see that destruction for ourselves. That's part. Of, actually, that's part of that reward. That's part of that reward. That's part of that prize. You know what I mean? Let me get that reward, bro. Um, Cause to see your enemies get destroyed, that's a beautiful thing. And people don't understand. You know why the Bible said uh, to love your enemies? Cause guess what? Because in the end, you get to see your enemies get destroyed. That's right, bro. They get, they're going to be on fire. And I'm not go. talking hell. I'm talking missiles. <laughs> Revelation 22 and 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the same of the prophecy of this book. So the Bible says, blessed is the one that kept the sayings of the Bible. Keep going. And I saw these things and I heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angels which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. Oh, you see that said it. So what happened with this is the book of Revelation. So John was he seen the angel came up to him and he started to worship the angel. The angel's like, nah, you don't worship me, I'm your brother. That's right. Okay, because if y'all don't know, the angels are Israelites. Like your family members, when they die, some of them gonna be angels. Okay, that's in the Bible. So when you, so actually, there's a little bit of truth. You think uh, you, some people think that a dead family member is helping every once in a while. There might be a shred of truth to that. You know, because uh, there's a scripture where uh, Matthew and Mark and it says uh, if, that some of our uh, some of our brothers, if they don't have children, it'll be as the angels in heaven. And there's other scriptures that say that we're gonna see our family coming out of the sky when the angels when they come back. That's right. For I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship the Most High. Yeah, so you're not, so that's more proof though that the angels are our brothers, but you're not supposed to be praying to angels. You're not supposed to be praying to your dead relatives. Okay, that's something only a heathen would do. Get a tattoo of your dead nephew and your yeah, dead yeah. child. Get, oh, get, yeah, get tattooed as St. Paul. I got St. Paul on this one. I got Caesar Bozier on this one. I this is my homeboy. Uh, 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 oh yeah, the Ray Ray. Oh yeah, Crespo. <laughs> oh yeah, will be. He gonna be out of there soon, Crespo. <laughs> this is my homeboy, Crespo Dollar, on this on my ass cheek. Pre blow for that dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and he said unto me, "Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still." That's why, I like more and more, like I used to really get. Uh, I used to really let heathens and demons get to me, man. Like if some faggots would come by and talk shit to me, I used to get all mad, you know, just start going nuts. But yo, fuck him, man. Right. Go ahead. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. So, I mean, you, if someone's filthy, then they're not, they're not gonna clean themselves up. They're gonna stay filthy, you know what I'm saying? Like, mo like, a lot, like we always get on the women. We got to, because, you know, uh, the Bible says America has the spirit of a horse woman on it anyway. That's right. So, but like, these women, are, they're, they're polluted. Like the scriptures say, if a woman has sex with more than one man and she's polluted, she's filthy. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Yes, yeah, so, so if you see someone that is righteous and they're doing the work, don't be talking shit to them, you know, bothering them. Let, let them do the work. Stay out their way. I'll oh, go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. And people do that all the time on YouTube, man. There'll be people that so-called say they're in the truth, and they say they're Israelite, but it'll be on a comment board nitpicking on what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Man, shut the fuck up. Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to 
will give every man according as his works shall be. Yeah, so I mean, that, it should be common sense, man. So, I mean, you're going to get, the Lord is going to judge you according to your own works, okay? According to what you've done and what you haven't done. So, if you've been out here saying the Lord don't exist, wait, well, this is, you just headed for destruction. You're going to be destroyed. Ain't no doubt about that. You're going to be utterly and totally destroyed. Talking about you an agnostic. If you say you're an agnostic, an atheist, a liberal, a feminist, a humanist, in this madness, the Lord's going to destroy you. That's all there is to it. It's real simple, man. As the scripture says, it's a simplicity that's in Christ. Okay? It's a simplicity. It's real simple. Yeah, I don't want that shit. I don't want that rubbish. Y'all ain't take the scriptures. We try to give y'all scriptures, but they try to give us something. You know what I mean? Yeah, they was out here the whole time. They We giving them scriptures. They ain't take that. They want to give us something. Like all of a sudden now, because they trying to do something like, fuck you people, man. Okay, I'm go back to the Jeremiah. I hate the word. Therefore, so, thus said the Lord of the men of Anathoth, that seek thy life. Anathoth. Anathoth, I believe that was us. Where's that at? That's the temple of Thoth, ain't it? That's yeah, the temple yeah, of Thoth. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. That seek thy life. So that's, like, so that's pretty much like uh, the, the town was named after one of the Egyptian gods. Right. So you know that place was demonic. Prophesy not in the name of the Lord that thou die not by our hand. Yeah, that was the you're right. That's the scripture. Yeah. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. And there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. And that was the Israelites he was talking about that was living down there, you know what I'm saying? Yep. The Lord, he's talking that the, the, the Lord is going to, is concerned, so we mostly concerned about Israel. The devil's the damn devil. He's going to continue to be the devil. And you can't wake the devil up to the truth. Okay? You got to be out here teaching Edomites. We're going to wake up an Edomite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we ain't worried about the devil. So we ain't worried about the Israelites, and that's it. If you're not an Israelite, look, we ain't got nothing to say to you. Okay? I'll go ahead. Oh, okay. Because the Lord's only dealing with a nation of Israel, all right? That's the Lord's holy people, the chosen people. The, the something that your pork chop, your pork chop eating preacher ain't never going to tell you that the Lord only came for the nation of Israel. And that's what the Bible says crystal clear, black and white, clear as day. <laughs> over and over, repeatedly. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what the Bible says. It didn't say he was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Moab. It didn't say he was sent to the lost sheep of Esau. Or the lost... The... <laughs> it's real simple, man. Hey, let's get some Israel scriptures up. Or we, unless you got something else. Maybe hit them notes up. Shit, we talking about hitting our notes up. Put a little flavor in it. I got it. Woo. Read this. Oh, I got it. I'm already here. Isaiah. Actually, I don't know where I want to start. <laughs> man, uh, man, just start at Isaiah 24 and 1, man. That's fire right there. Ain't no code of bus coming for a minute either. Y'all about to hear some scripture. Isaiah 24 chapter. Yep. Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold. The Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down and scattereth the world the inhabitants thereof. That's what everybody been scattered. Not only the Israelites scattered, but you know the scriptures say Egyptians got scattered too. You know the, the people that ain't nobody even knows where. Well, we know, but a lot of people don't know where the ancient Egyptians is at. They gone. Go ahead. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priests. That's why like, we live in America. They call it a great melting pot. Nobody knows who's who. 
If you ask somebody where they come from, they don't know where they come from. They don't know their origins. They'll be like, well, what are you? I'm a Cherokee mixed with Irish. Ain't no such thing as mixed with anything. Mixed with, mixed with a white man? Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm African mixed with Irish, mixed with Cherokee. Like, how many damn nations are you mixed with? In Rottweiler. Yeah, in a Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can tell by their face. They got a Rottweiler in there. Right. Uh, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, oh, and yeah. with the maid. So even our kings went into slavery, got scattered. Go ahead. So with his mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller. So all of our people got messed up. That's why the Lord, in Matthew 15 and 24, the one you call Jesus, whose real ancient Hebrew name is Yahawashai, he said he was only sent to the lost sheep, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Keep going. As with the lender, so with the borrower. As with the taker of the usury, so with the giver of the usury to him. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. So the Bible said this land is going to be utterly and totally spoiled. It's going to be, America's going to be destroyed. That, that, y'all ever uh, been curious about biblical prophecy? Have y'all ever been curious about the prophecies in the Bible? Ever wonder, like, I wonder what the Bible prophecy is all about. I want to crack the Bible code. Well, guess what? The Bible code said America's going to be destroyed. That's the code. Keep going. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. So the earth is defiled right now. That's why, that's why they're feeding everybody genetically modified corn in America. Don't you know the studies came out said genetically modified corn causes cancers, causes tumors, and makes you die? That's why the Russians, don't you know that Russia just outlawed the, imp uh, the importation of genetically modified corn because it causes cancer? But 80% of the corn in America is genetically modified, causes cancer. But that's by design. Just like abortion is by design. Just like how they uh, put fluoride in your water. The yeah, oh yeah, my, uh, Harvard University just came out with a study that said that the fluoride, fluoridated water and fluoridated toothpaste causes brain damage and it decreases your IQ exponentially. I don't know how much they love the university. And that's a fact. So keep drinking fluor, fluoride water, go brush your teeth with some fluoridated toothpaste and let your brain rot away some more. <laughs> The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants oh, thereof. Look at all the, the earth is defiled. You can't even go take a drink out the side of the river. The Native American Indians used to live in Columbus in the, uh, the side of the river in the Olentangy. That was their lifeline, okay? That, that, that's, what, that's where they got life from. That's where they got their drinking water. If you take a drink, out, drink of water out the side of the river, you'll drop dead. You'll die. That's where the earth is defiled. The earth also was defiled it's under safe. the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. So y'all broke the everlasting covenant. That's why y'all have a problem when we read the Bible. Because y'all know you broke that covenant and you know you ain't right. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. So, yeah, so if you if you if you, if you a blasphemer, if you a damn heathen. If you're an agnostic, an atheist, you're saying God's not real, the Lord's just going to destroy you. It's real simple. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, so and few men left. So all these faggots are going to get burned up. All these adulterous women are going to get burned up. They're going to get cooked. They're going to get frizzled and fried. A fucking oven is about to come busy. They're going to get disintegrated. <laughs> That the Lord is going to destroy him with uh, behemoth flames. Mm. Did I say that right? Behemoth? Let me get some scripture, bro. Let's get a scripture with the word behemothly in it. <laughs> uh, I'm about to find one. Hold up. Let's see what the Lord I'm going to look up the word behemothly. There's a bunch of them. Little athletics. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a concordance. Oh, okay. Oh, this one is good. Yeah. Oh, you got some. You go ahead. Uh, okay, Isaiah, uh, start, Isaiah 13. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Enos did see, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my holiness. The noise of a multitude in the mountain, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of a kingdom of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. They come from a far country. Oh, so they, they come from a far country. When, when this war breaks out, them missiles gonna be coming from a far country. A lot of people think America's safe because it's situated between two oceans, right? Mm -hmm. But man, we live in the future, man. They got missiles that can fly all around the world. <laughs> go out of space yeah. and enter back in. Yeah. <laughs> like they said, it's, it's a global world now. Oh, go ahead. They come from a far country, from the end of heavens, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So the, so the Lord said he's going to... No, I'm not talking to them. So the Lord said he's going to destroy the whole land. Okay, so all these groups out here, they don't want to follow the law of the Bible. They're going to get destroyed. For the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So the Bible says the day of the Lord is at hand, and destruction is coming from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Now, now what Bible is that, though? This is there's there's got to be something wrong with your Bible. Uh, the Lord says James. he's bringing destruction. That's right. So that's in the Bible. We're not making it up. He's reading out the King James Bible. Y'all love King James, right? No. They always want to say, you can only use the King James Bible. We're a hypocritical nation. But then if we read out the King James Bible, they get a problem with it. They have a problem with it. Yeah, they only love with words and with their mouth. That's their love. Their love is just to say they love God or whoever. Oh, yeah. That's their love. Love is just to say it. But the word said, the, the book itself says, don't love with words oh, and yeah. with your mouth. Well, love's not, with deeds. love is not a feeling. Love's an action. Let me get that. Bro. You like that, huh? That's a nice little saying, isn't it? That should be like a bumper sticker. Love's not a feeling, it's an action. <laughs> yeah, you should have a great <laughs> pride sticker right along with it. <laughs> no, man, it's true, though. Because people, man, they don't know what love is, man. Love is the keeping of the commandments. The Bible said love is when you keep the commandments. Love ain't when you get a little happy feeling in your stomach. That's what you call Satan. Oh, here it is. First John 3 and 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither yep. in tongue. Right. But in deed and in truth. See? Hey, read that out again. What was that? First John 3 and 18. Oh, yeah. First John 3. My little children, let us not love in word. Hey, keep ne reading that. There's more to that. Hey. Neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Hey, keep going. I love John, man. That's and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, the Most High is greater than our heart and yeah. knoweth all things. Yeah. Beloved. If our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward the Most High? And whatsoever we speak, we receive of Him. So, yeah, we're not speaking our own words, like I said. When the Bible says people's getting destroyed, that's what the Bible said. We didn't make that up. It's not like we went got a Bible and put new pages in it. You know what I'm saying? We're just reading out the Bible. Right. We're telling you what it actually says. Keep going. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Yeah, so if you fear the Lord, you call yourself a God-fearing Christian, but you're gonna you gonna do what the Bible said to do. Gonna write it too. No, but you're gonna teach it too. This is bad. Oh, and good. this is his commandment. Uh, so this is the commandment. Y'all always want to talk about Jesus only got two commandments. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's the, the most important thing is to believe on the name of Yahweh Shai. That's the most important thing you can do. As uh, well, the Romans, the 10th chapter said, whoever confesses with his mouth, confesses the name of the Lord among men, he shall be saved. It said, whoever confesses the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's how you get saved. So if you want to uh, get saved, you gotta come out here and teach and confess the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, keep going. And love one another as he gave us commandments. 
and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him it said and love them. and love one another so it was talking about teaching and uh, keeping the commandments in the exact same sense it said to love one another because love like he said he'd already read it love's an action it's not a feeling <laughs> Yeah, come on, Rory. Oh, I want to talk to them. Yeah. And hereby we know that the He abideth in us by the Spirit which He hath given us. Oh yeah, so that's what, that's how we know who the elect is. We man, we can tell who our brothers is by the Spirit. We can tell who everybody is by the Spirit. We can tell the difference between a wicked, you know, the son of the wicked and the son of the Most High by the Spirit. If you can't do that, that means you're spiritually defunct. That means you're not of the elect. That's what that means. Okay, back to Isaiah 12. Oh, I forgot. Look at that 12. 12, 6. You said 12? Yeah. Uh, How ye, what's up? for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So the day of the Lord is coming with great destruction. You believe that? Yeah, you, said you don't believe in the most high probably. This is just... He just believes in football. He believes in running backs and quarterbacks and stuff like that. Wait for Santa. That's what yeah. Just can't wait for the game. Go memorize some meaningless stats. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Let's memorize a bunch of stats of a bunch of homosexual college football player kids. Throw a crazy to your idols that motherfucker <laughs> carrying the football. Yeah, it's an idol. The whole team is number idols. They're the new head coach they got, Urban Meyer. I shouldn't even say the devil's name. I don't give a fuck how many championships you got. You're the devil. Fucking hey, you're a homosexual. And, and, I, and you know, I pray your career ends in Ohio State too. I hope y'all get caught up in some some scandals. You get fired just like Trussell's bitch ass. Because <laughs> Ohio State's cursed, man. This university's cursed. The Lord sent us out here to curse you. And it's my pleasure to do this. It's my pleasure. Because people, if you're not from Ohio, you're not going to understand it as well as we do. You don't understand in Columbus. These people, all they care about is football. That is it. If we yell OH right now, we'll get 50 IOs. Yeah, if we yell OH, yeah, we will hear, everybody will say IO loud as fuck. Like Pee Wee Herman when he was in yeah, Texas. Yeah, I'm not doing it, I'm doing it. I'm not, yeah, I hate it too. But if we yell out of scripture, they get mad at us. So that's why people don't understand how, how big of a deal Ohio State football is up here. You, you don't.